Hey, what is going on everybody, my name is here. welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory Career Mode. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like, check out your social media links or links to the previous episodes, they'll be down in the description below. So we go on into our first game against High Flying Loot, and no knowing that we need a near perfect run between now and the end of the season to get into the playoffs. So we go into this game not hoping for anything in particular, but our cause is helped when some nice work here by Beck drives inside and the player slides him from behind and he is going to go ahead and pick up a straight red card giving us a man advantage so it's a nice work by Foden here gets an opportunity to get us in front in the game so he is eventually going to cut it back it's going to fall to Leandrino he's going to tuck it away to make it 1-0 then some poor defending here by Luton where they just play it around the back give the ball away to Beck who lays it off to Dawson who plays it back to Beck who puts it in the back of the net, making it 2-0 and giving us a 2-0 victory. So, we got the first part of the perfect run going, but we move on into the game against Northampton, having to use a rotational side. So, not our strongest side, and it's not a very good side, to be honest. But it's actually our keeper, that, our starting keeper, that gives the ball away here, gives it to Collins, and he puts it in the back of the net, giving Northampton a 1-0 lead, putting us on the back foot. Then, moments later, they get another opportunity. It falls back to Collins once again. He puts it in the back of the net, making it 2-0, and putting the game beyond us. And that's how the game did finish. We end up losing 2-0. So, the perfect run it is not there, and it is going to be extremely tough and require results to go the right way for us to get into the playoffs. So, we move on into Hartlepool, still trying to push to see if we can get as many points as possible as it's still mathematically possible at this point to get into playoff places and it took into a 90th minute to get a go-ahead goal which was scored by Swanee, our centre-back from the corner giving us a 1-0 victory so we go into the final game knowing that it would really need to go our way in this in these games to get the victory against Mansfield Town and it's not going to start off well for us some nice work by Mansfield Town playing the ball around here Playing it past the defender, Rose smashes it into the back of the net and puts it into the back of the net, giving them a 1-0 lead. So into the second half we go and they get another opportunity here from a cross. It's headed into the back of the net by Green, giving Mansfield a 2-0 lead and sealing our fate of staying in League 2 for another season. So as you can see, we did end up finishing 11th miles off of the playoffs just because of the way the results fell for us. But we're going to go ahead and train our youth academy players here, Clappinson going up a rating in the first training session. And we continue to train the two youth academy products just to keep them going, get trying to get them as high as possible to let them compete for places next season. Clappinson's growing nicely up to a 52 at this point. And we move on into our youth scout report. And something weird happened in my opinion. I've never seen Matt Newell. He dropped so much over one session. It was unbelievable. But again we continue to push forward. And our goalkeeper there going nicely. As we move on into the final training sessions of the season. And again this I think will be the last one or the second to last one. And you see the goalkeeper is now up to 59 rated. We do have one more training session where we do not get any growth, unfortunately. And that will bring the season to an end. Quick look at the squad report. If you want to stop and see anyone in particular, feel free to do so. I, I'm not going to take, say too much. Just some nice growth generally throughout the players. The board are not happy with my performance this season, which is disappointing. But it is what it is and we didn't get anything in the cup so that's going to bring an end to this season let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the first season let me know if you think there's any areas that i need to strengthen the team one of them i think may be the goalkeeper i may let that youth goalkeeper go and bring in a new first choice keeper but until next time guys my name's ashley thanks for watching and goodbye